Hello everybody, my name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to really enhance online communication in the Microsoft Teams chat. We're going to use messaging extensions so that when we phone somebody using the chat features in Microsoft Teams, we're going to be able to add applications. We're going to be able to do surveys. We're going to be able to add links to YouTube videos that actually embed that YouTube video in the link. There's so many cool things we can do, and I'm going to show you how to do that. If this tip's useful, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's go have a look at messaging extensions in Microsoft Teams. Meeting extensions are great. They add a lot of functionality but they haven't been ruled out to everyone yet. Let's have a look here. I'm going to go into uh, the weather and the environment channel in the North Coast Trail. I'm going to start up a new meeting. So right now I'm logged in as, as Frank, as myself. I'm going to do a meeting here and a new meeting comes up here and let's just make this so it fits the window here. So I'm going to go in with my computer audio and I'm just going to make sure that I don't have the microphone on so we don't get feedback and I'll, I'll join a new meeting. So this is a new meeting that I'm starting. Over here on this computer on the other side, I'm going to be logged in as Clark Kent. So with Clark Kent here, you'll notice that he sees a meeting has started in the weather channel and he's going to go and join that. So he's got his meeting here. And once again, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so that it fits in here. And with my computer audio, I'm going to turn my microphone off. That'll just prevent any feedback. So now we have a typical what we'd expect. I'm in the meeting here. I see Clark has joined. Clark is in the meeting. He sees that I've joined. And if I go into the conversation here, so I'll go into the chat window on the side here, and you can see that I've got the chat window and uh, Clark here goes in the chat window. Clark has the chat window. It's all what we'd expect, right? We'll say hello. And then we can say over here, we'll see the hello come in and we'll say hello back. So far, nothing too exciting, but wait for it. So we go in here and if I hit the ellipse here, oh no. There's nothing here on either of these chats. I have no ellipse. I can't access that ellipse. So that's problematic because I can't get into the messaging extensions. Let's go ahead and leave this meeting, this prearranged meeting. And instead of a meeting, I'm going to go into chat. And underneath chat, I'm going to go into Clark Kent. I'm going to or, you know, find Clark here. So I'm going to go to Clark. I've talked to him before. And I'm going to give Clark a quick phone call. So let's give Clark a quick phone call. I'm just going to call him. Clark's going to pick up that phone. So Clark picks up the phone and I just mute the microphone again so we don't get the feedback. So now instead of a meeting between Clark and myself, what I have instead here is I have a chat, but it's a call, a chat call between Mark, uh, Clark and myself. So Clark and I are now chatting, same sort of thing. And it looks very similar, similar experience. But now watch this. If I go into the conversation here and I hit the ellipse here, I get these messaging extensions. And what that allows me to do is to go in and add all sorts of cool applications in here. There's many, many apps that I can add in here, but let's say for example, I want to tell Clark about a really cool YouTube channel. Maybe it's called Learning and Technology with Frank. And that channel, I mean, I want Clark to make sure he checks out this cool video here. And maybe I want him, you know, to look at how he can run his Windows server on a Mac. And over here, sure enough, Clark receives that and he now has all this information from YouTube here. And Clark's pretty excited and Clark knows about a cool video that I should look at. So I'm going to close this message here and if he goes in, sure enough, look what happens. He gets the message extensions as well. Now notice he does not have YouTube here. It's suggesting YouTube, no problem. If I click on YouTube, I just add it in and now this becomes something for Clark learning and technology with Frank. And maybe there's a video he says, Oh, you got to see this. You gotta see the introduction to learning and technology with Frank. He sends that over to me and sure enough, it's back and forth. Now this will be extraordinarily useful when I'm doing larger meetings with a classroom. Uh, then I can use those messaging extensions to share surveys with all my students. I can use them to share videos with students, all sorts of different ways of using that chat effectively. But for now, I can use it in a one on one conversation quite effectively. Now, it is also worth bearing in mind that I can go in and I can invite new participants in here. So I can you know, have a quick phone call to Bruce Wayne and I can invite him in. And now Bruce in this case here is not uh, he's not connecting here. I don't have Bruce anywhere on my 
environment, but it's calling Bruce. And then of course, if he comes in, we can continue using things such as those message extensions. That is it. I hope you use it. It's a useful, useful tool. It's something that will really make your messaging more effective. Here's some more videos on the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next videos.